hello welcome to a short video i'm kind of on holiday i am on holiday but i'm looking after my parents house for a handful of days and it's where i kind of spent my mid-teens to my late 20s and you just never explore where you live so i'm coming out to walk some of the areas that i've never discovered in the 11 years that i lived at home so come from West Stockworth Marina um, and come down the River Trent towards Gainsborough and just coming around some of the little back roads going to go down towards the Chesterfield Canal um, and back into West Stockworth. It's a bit windy for filming much so um, we'll see how we get on. hair's getting even more rustic. I uh, eaten half of them now but uh, just came across a bush that had it was quite high up so there's the advantage to being tall there but yeah had quite a lot of really ripe black blackberries on. Problem with this time of year they all start coming out and everybody just strips them off. Um, lots of elderberries as well but yeah get a few of these in me. I've done getting on for four miles now and um, yeah just getting back on to the Trent Bank so I, I was hoping to come down the Chesterfield Canal um, I couldn't find the entrance to get on where I did a walk with my dad about a year or so ago so I just wanted to extend the walk a little bit so I'm just coming back along the way that I've been bringing my dogs around which is like a little two and a half mile circuit from where my parents house is so probably got another mile or so and then back at the homestead it's been really lovely we're threatening thunder and lightning and it didn't look like it was too overcast so i thought i'd chance it and i'm glad i did so i'll give you a better view of this when we get up close but this is an old pumping station when i was uh, living at home my gp lived there but uh, they no longer live there. I don't know whether it's now some kind of semi-museum. I think there are still people that live there, but I'll show you when we get there. You can zoom in on that to pause it if you like. Yeah, quite impressive. Feels a bit like you're going in somebody's garden. I guess you are. But, uh... So it's the next day, couldn't it be uh, a more different day weather-wise, um, just nipping out early morning, it's already really nice and warm, got the girls coming down the Chesterfield Canal, see how far we get with them, hopefully we can get round and back onto the uh, idle bank and back down that way, but yeah absolutely stunning. And, uh, that one just wants to eat grass all the way. There it is. There it is. Come on. See how obedient they are. There it is. There it is. There we go. Right, see how far we get. So 
So this stretch of the Chesterfield Canal is where the canal actually terminates. So we run from Misterton to West Stockworth in the Bassett Law district of Nottinghamshire. Um, and just at the, at the top here where we came onto the track, there's a bridge into West Stockworth village. Um, and you come into, it comes into a basin, into a marina that flows out into the Trent. So this, this is, yeah, the end of the canal. But it's, it's absolutely beautiful, this village. It's just surrounded by water on every side. And because it's out kind of country way, it's very rural, surrounded by lots of fields and little back roads. I am not looking forward to going back home to uh, to Newark tomorrow. It's been beautiful. I did grow up here. Well, I, I kind of moved here when I was 16. Um, I lived here till I was nearly 28. Um, uh oh, dog's rolling. Hey, get up, 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 up. Dirty buggers. Come on, no, you're not. Go on, keep going, keep going. Every time we come past, go, go on. Why have dogs got to be so grim? It's probably something dead. Um, but yes, I, I kind of lived here for about 11 years. I think I mentioned that in uh, what I recorded yesterday and just never really explored a lot. I did have a dog when I lived at home and we had what we call the circuit, which uh, is kind of down the village, up the idle, round, back up the Chesterfield Canal but um, never really explored much beyond that. So it was lovely yesterday to, to get around some places, uh, some bits of the villages that I haven't been before. Um, this is really lovely. I think because my dogs are very nervous, I'll, I'll stick to this route, this, this circuit, because I know it's safe um, and they kind of recognize it and feel safe, I think. So we'll see how we get on. But yeah, it's such a beautiful still morning. And being out here for a few days just reminds me how much I miss it. Definitely not a townie. So one of the improvements they've made since I lived here um, along this stretch, they've now got a number of benches. Um, this little stretch between West Stockworth and Misterton's not even, uh, it's probably not even quite half a mile long. Oh no, maybe not quite a mile long. Um, but, you know, if, if you are somebody that struggles a bit more with mobility and you just want a nice pood poodle, they've actually put a load of hardcore down. Um, so the, the, the footpath much improved. The sad thing is, at the, at the end of this stretch, there used to be a pub um, and that's no longer there. It was knocked down and replaced with houses. So it used to be on the circuit on a lovely hot day. You used to be able to stop and get a drink at the pub before you walk back up. However, that said... Um, when you get to the top of here and come back into West Stockworth Village, there's the Waterfront Inn pub there. Um, or if you did the circuit the other way and you come back into the village that end, there's the White Hart pub. So, uh, yeah, you, you're not short of refreshments. I think one of the things that I love so much about being out here is the complete lack of distraction. Um, I think because we, we came just with kind of clothes and bits and bobs, there's nothing um, to distract you from just relaxing. Um, yeah, it's been lovely. I think we can't really afford to go away anywhere, um, like on a paid holiday. So <clears throat> I think sometimes if you just take time off and you sit at home, there's that kind of feeling that you should be doing something. You've got pots to wash or something you should be finishing decorating or whatever it is and I think um just being somewhere where you've not got all your own stuff and you're just kind of forced to sit and take time to unwind come for walks and being out here is like an act of mindfulness sort of noticing all the birds and the insects and the smells and everything around you and I think when I lived here when I lived at home um I suffered really uh, badly with depression for quite a long time and yeah, having my dog and bringing her out for a walk I think really at times saved me you know forcing me to get up forcing me to kind of look at this other little being that needed me and to get outside and I know how important that is for my physical and emotional well-being these days um, you know there are other things I've done as well to work on myself including kind of diet and alcohol consumption and all those kinds of things that were negatively impacting me but yeah it's um it's such an important thing to really switch off um and you know most of us have got the ability to to do that at, at some point you know whether it's just for an hour or so a day um to get outside and just really 
take time to kind of appreciate what's around you. And I've really, really enjoyed these last few days. It felt, it's felt like a proper, proper break. like hell but not quickly enough for her I don't suppose. That one's over there waiting for her to come and play. Sorry this is probably really boring if you don't like dogs but these are my uh, little bubbers. I'll probably sign off at that and stop waffling at you about my dogs. Um, but yeah, if you get the chance, if you get the chance to come out to West Stockworth, come and try the, the one of the local pubs or both of the local pubs. Come, there's a, a campsite, there's a caravan site, they have on-site facilities, um, showers, toilets and things like that. Um, so yeah, come, come try it out, come and do some of these walks. Uh, if you're into cycling, there's loads of little back lanes and stuff, all the little villages. So yeah, come and, come and give it a whirl. I'll see you next time.